Uh, the Rumsfeld Grizzlies Grizzlies are proud and excited to announce the signing of three local players, uh, Kent Hendrickson, Braden Siles, and uh, Riley Creighton. Uh, it's, it's our privilege to have three graduates of the Rumsfeld Minor Hockey Association be part of our team. It's uh, uh, an accolade for the, the uh, minor hockey and the community of Rumsfeld to have three outstanding you know, players of this caliber making our, our program. They're not only just uh, they had quite a few opportunities. There's a few teams that were after these guys, so we're very excited to have them be part of our program. Thank you. Excellent. Gentlemen, anything to say? Um, yeah, I'm very excited to be playing for my hometown. Uh, it's going to be fun. I hope a lot of people come out and watch. Looking forward to it. As well, yeah, yeah. very excited. And yet, yeah, we're coming back home. So, pretty excited to play here this year. We got a new coach, so see how things go this season. Looking forward to it. Had a couple of returning players, so it'll be a good season. Now, you guys have been playing hockey for a long time here locally. Yes. Yeah, and uh, and in Wilcox, Saskatchewan too. Yes. Yeah. Now, what um, the training camp is still to come up? That that's in August, right? August nineteenth. Yeah. What are you? What kind of uh, skills skill sets do you hope your fellow players will be bringing to the camp? Oh, I we're looking for obviously a variety. Hopefully, we get a couple more local kids in would be good. Obviously, it takes different players to build a team. So, skilled players, battling players. Pretty much the same, uh, maybe a couple big guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Twelve big guys who could play hockey, exactly. ideally. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody mugs their way to the, the finals. <laughs> no. Well, Ken, you played a few games from the Grizzlies last year. What did you learn? And like, how much do you think that helped prepare you for going through the season? It definitely helped a lot. You know, I learned a lot of things. It's, it's high intensity hockey. It's, Got to battle to earn your ice, and got to compete. And I learned definitely two things. So hopefully, that'll help me come into camp. And Braden, you spent the last two years in Saskatchewan. What, what was that experience like? It was great. Uh, playing one of the top uh, major AAA leagues in Canada. It was if you had your A game every game, or you were playing. So. Yourself, Riley, and you're coming out of, uh, I guess, well, you and Kent have been on the uh, midget team last year. Yeah. Were you practicing the first year last year as well? Or uh, like a couple of times, not too much. Okay. Well, um, how, how do you see your role on the team, or where, where do you see yourself going to this year? Uh, grinding it out, you know, yeah. fourth line, maybe some Tillies. Just trying to earn some ice time. That shouldn't be too difficult because you've already been signed. <laughs> yeah. What uh, What would you guys regard as your 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 personal strengths? What do you bring to the team? Uh, I think I bring a lot of intensity. And I battle hard. And just do little things. I'm a role player. Mm -hmm. So you got to bring a lot of experience to bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sale? Uh, well, I guess I've learned to keep my body over the last couple of years, so that'd be probably one of my biggest. Uh, skating, I think, is it's quite strong, and my shot, too. Every aspect of your play is great. And you, sir? Uh, I think I'm a pretty high energy player. I try and get things going out there, just get the other team wound up, like just knock them down or something. Just uh, get some momentum for our team. Grind it out. Grind it out. Uh, I'm curious if any of you guys had any other offers to play in higher leagues or other or elsewhere, and if so, like why you chose or like where you know why you chose Rebel Stokes or is that where was that an option there? Uh, Rebel Stokes just local, like living at home, all your friends and family are here. Just uh, people you grew up with, they're watching you out. And uh, all the little kids in the community, they look up to you already. Once you're, uh, once you're a grizzly, you know, they're, they idolize you. So it's hero, hero status now to them. It's pretty cool. You know, it's a lot of pressure too, though. Yeah. You know, you're always, you're always on in front of a hometown yeah, crowd. Your hometown's definitely you know. Pressure. People in the community sometimes get wound up. Yeah. Well, 
the Grizzlies have been known in the last past couple of years to have a great reputation for the program, so I was pretty excited. We've got a chance to be able to play good too. Um, I could have went back to Saskatchewan, but I just didn't see it playing a third-year midget that would help me a lot. So I came here to develop more and 